Hi, I'm Sam. Today we are going to talk about visual observation. The first thing is shapes. Now we're going to see some shapes here on screen. That's a square and that's a rectangle. This is a triangle because it has three sides and three corners, a circle and an oval. Whenever you see any object or any picture, you can notice these basic shapes in it. Let's take the a picture of a Taj Mahal. In this, if you notice, there's a long rectangle here and two small rectangles here. Then there is an oval at the dome and finally capped by a triangle. So these are the basic shapes that you can observe in almost anything that you see around you. The next thing that you need to observe is alignment. By alignment, we mean the things that are in one line. For example, the top of this rectangle and the top of this rectangle are in one line. So is the bottom of these two rectangles. You can have vertical alignment also. For example, the center of the triangle, the center of the oval and the center of the Taj Mahal itself are all aligned vertically. And the next thing that we need to talk about is proportions. Now, what is proportions? Proportions means that uh, there are different objects and elements and they are in relation with one another. They are, their size is in relation with one another. So let me take you through an exercise where we have a man standing and I'll show you three pictures of dogs and you have to select which dog is in best proportion in relation to the man. So we have this one dog here who is almost at the height of the shoulder of a man and we have another dog which is about as tall as the knee and finally we have the third dog. Those of you who thought that this dog who is as tall as the knee of the man is in proportion are correct. So that's about proportion. So whenever you see objects or pictures, you need to look at shapes, you need to look at colors, you need to look at alignment and proportions. <laughs>